Wow, look at this, guys. Ain't this just looking lovely? Wow. Mm -mm. Nice. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Chef Young D right here. If you want to see how I prepare this very delicious goat stew recipe, just stick around now. Huh? I will show you right after the break. So right here, I have three pound of goat meat that I already went off camera and washed in some lemon juice just to make the video a little shorter. Also, I have some natural season that I'm just going to toss in my blender to make a nice rub for my goat meat. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start by blending my season, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add some parsley. Some rosemary, some thyme, right? Also, some onion, my scallion, my garlic. My scotch bonnet pepper and guys if you are afraid of pepper right if you don't like spicy food you don't have to add any pepper in it right also gonna add roughly about a tablespoon of pimento seeds also gonna add one tablespoon of dark soy sauce Also gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Also gonna add one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Also gonna add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning my goat meat. First, I'm going to start by adding one teaspoon of black pepper. Also going to add one teaspoon of paprika. Also going to add one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Also going to add one tablespoon of garlic and herb seasoning. Also gonna add one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. All right guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my blended season, right? And I went ahead and catch a little water in it, right? Just to ensure that I get all that goodness out, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and rub my seasoning all in, all right? And guys, this is smelling wonderful, wow, trust me, the aroma is coming from this right now, it's just unbelievable, wow, this is well seasoned, trust me, nice. 
All right, guys, so I'm just going to leave it to sit for about half an hour before I start the cooking process. So after marinating for half an hour, right, I already went ahead and placed it in my baking tin, right, because I'm going to bake this, right? All right, I also went ahead and catch about like a half cup of water just to rinse that excess season out because you don't want to waste all this goodness, right? All this flavor right here, you want to ensure that all of it is added to the goat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and foil my goat. And I already went ahead and set my oven to preheat 375 degrees. And I'm gonna place this in the oven for about an hour and a half before I check it, right? Now that my oven is heated, I'm just gonna place my goat meat inside the oven for about an hour and a half before I check back on it. All right, guys, it's been over an hour since my goat is in the oven, right? So I'm just gonna take it out and look what it's looking like. And guys, you have to be careful in you know, car. This hot in a man. Can't make this car chair you know? Wow, it's well hot. Trust me. Nice. Look at it, guys. All right, I'm just gonna take a fork and test it. All right, nice. Nah, yeah, this cook. You see, guys, soft. Watch here. Wow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of re-seasoning, right? Um, guys, as you can see right here, I have some vegetable and seasoned cut up, right? I have some green and red bell pepper, I have some carrot, some onion, and some Irish. So I'm just going to do a little bit of re-seasoning. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my season and vegetable, right? I'm just gonna add my red and green bell pepper, my Irish, my onion and carrots, right? Also gonna add roughly about two tablespoon of ketchup. Also gonna add one tablespoon of butter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together, all right? And guys, this is smelling very delicious. Trust me, this is gonna be so good. Wow. All right. Nice. So now I'm going to go ahead and foil it again. And I'm going to place it in the oven for 30 more minutes. Okay. Just go ahead and pop it back in the oven. Nice. Alright guys, so after being in the oven for an extra half an hour, I'm now gonna go ahead and take it out. Alright. And I'm just gonna give you a little preview of what it looks like now. And remember to be careful when you're opening the file, right? Because all that heat that's trapped in will burn you. Look at it guys. Wow. Mm -mm amazing all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the finishing product right after this all right guys so here have the finishing product of my goat stew oh look look delicious right tastes delicious too i wish i'll be tasting this right now 
Wow. Nice. All right, guys, I'm actually serving it to some pinto, rice and peas, some mac and cheese, and some sugar snap beans. Marvelous. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little taste test for y'all. Mm -mm. Wow, marvelous. Mm. This tastes so good. Mm -mm. Magnificent, trust me. This is off the chain. Wow. All right. I think I'll go buy it on the boat now, right? The flavor is unbelievable. Guys, you see how my season up my goat already, right? You see how I blend up my season them and it well marinated so you know so this ever tastes good. Trust me, this is off the chain. Wow. Let me go now a close up. Alright. Look how soft and tender this is, right? Marvelous. Mm -mm. Guys, you need to try this recipe, right? Try this recipe and you know, I'll let me know how it turn out for you guys. Because right now, I'm going to finish my food, you know, so we talk next time, yeah? Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Just hit that notification bell below to keep up to date with all the latest videos each and every week. So, until then, take care. I'm out.